Honey, this is customer's bag. We gotta give it back. Hey, yeah. You gotta get out of there. I'm still working. He wants his bag. Come on, girl. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, girl. A little rough, you know? It's really rough, yeah. wonder what the main patch was on it. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. But I don't even know what's going on. That's pretty badass looking. First infantry infantry division, big red one. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, something like this, a little bit rough. I'm gonna fast yeah, on it. Yeah. You know? Would you be able to know? Looking if any of this is gold. Yeah, it will take me some time to go through it. Yeah, but I can. If it is cool, I don't know. That's all out of a really old person's stuff. Lucky. Where the locks? Skeleton <laughs> So yeah. they're everywhere in the old days. Very cool. This is brand new. Hello. Belt Look how many I got right behind you. So good. I didn't know that. I don't want to set on your glass. I'm trying to be your spot. Kitty, kitty. Hi. Still a good guard cat? Yeah, she's awesome. That's a fat cat. <coughs> yes, it does. Uh huh. Two colors, white and red, and blue. I think yeah, the bottom is blue too. Yeah. Is the tent used? Do yes. you know? Yes, it is. Right. Then okay. I'm, I'm gonna pass on it. Almost done. Here. These are all brand new. They're not used, and I know they're not worth it. This is one of those seen on TV mm -hmm. items, kind of, you know? They were Walmart clearance. So. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, I like the bag. Probably likes the smell of the leather. No, she oh, just wants tight faces. Look at her. That yeah. is adorable. <laughs> She's like, I like this bag. And I got a cushion to lay on. Like, can I? Yeah, yeah, this? take a picture for that sure. That is adorable. Awesome. Oh, look at that. I almost hit a jackpot. <laughs> Here, this one is, I don't do that shit, but it was in with the belt buckle. And okay. then there's a pair of jumper clippers in here. And that's it in the box. Okay. So I'll take those. Now this stuff right here, right here, this you can put it back. I'm going to pass on that. The game system. I know. Okay. What are you looking to get out of this stuff that 15, we got here? Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. That's it. Yeah. I'm going. You know what, dude? There's more down here. Okay. Um. There's a really old this splitter. One. Okay. Um, got gotcha. you. And then this is a dolly. Dolly. Yep. F folding out dolly. This is brand new fishing old rod. School. And then the fishing pole, the dolly. The fishing pole, actually, I'm going to pass. Okay. The dolly and the splitter I would be interested in. Um, I mean, what are you thinking? There's nothing really spectacular here, but I will get a few bucks for the stuff, so... I need money, so whatever you're... 
Awesome enough to give me a mustard. Uh, Twenty bucks, I'd be like no. Thirty-five bucks. That's it. I can't go any higher on this, you know, because that this is a lot of money. Right there. This forty, yeah, I know that was a lot. I bought that. This is a rhino. This is not really a big brand in the fishing, you know. You got three bolt bearings. This is a probably twenty nine ninety nine brand new reel at Walmart, you know. I bought that at a few years back at the, on the corner of one seventy six. Dave's, Dave's bait yes. and tackle. Yeah, yeah. I paid way over that. Um, so it's totally up to you, man. If you want to take something back because you don't feel I can adjust the price, but I mean, like you know, stuff like this. I know what those I? are different. <laughs> that I know. You know, same thing. You know, like this stuff is gonna be just a few dollars, on, you know. Probably the most money here are the vintage keys. Yeah, those are awesome. I don't think that's a vintage. This is not vintage, you know, Hobby Lobby thing, you know, from... Yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm not here to lie so, on anything. Would you do 40? But you haven't looked at that stuff yet. Well, that's separate, yeah. so I'm gonna go, that's gonna take me a few minutes to go through that. No, I'll be honest with 35 boxes stops. I can't go any higher on 35 this 35 yeah. and I can take something back? Well, if you take something back, I'll adjust the price. <laughs> But for what you got me here, and that that folds out nicely. Oh yeah, try it. Okay, that thing is awesome. Uh, would you do thirty-five and let me keep the fishing reel? Huh? Thirty-five and keep the original. I'll tell you what, thirty and you can keep the fishing reel because I was literally gonna give you five bucks for it. So okay, so you can keep that. Okay. You good with that then? Yeah, I like you. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll do 30 on that, and then let me go through some of those. I'm not getting my hopes up. Go, well, you we'll never know. Person do, you know. Yeah, you never know. Just by looking at it, I see, see a lot of costume jewelry in there, but you just yeah. never know. So. Is it staying in there? If he's in there when I leave, I get him. <laughs> it stays in the bag. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, look at her. She's uh, yeah, that's adorable. Man. I've never seen her do that before. She's you know, every time we get a nice box on a on a on a counter, she climbs into boxes. But what do you think, honey? Anything cool over here? Oh, oh, very close, very close. One more time, one more time, huh? No, no jackpot. She's like. What's happening? Ah, no luck. So out of all this stuff that I picked up from him, probably, hey, you wanna play with that? Probably the coolest things are those skeleton keys. There's 29 keys on this ring and I priced them for 35 bucks. Hopefully I'll get maybe 25 bucks out of it. It was also very cool vintage belt buckle from Chicago Bears this one is uh, 1990 so over 30 years old now Peterbilt here pretty beat up this one is 1974 so well, that's an oldie that's 47 years old look at this pen it's pretty cool too a weed the rest of them are really nothing special they're older too but this one is 1977. This is some kind of desert scene. No, no date on that. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? I'm good, yeah. So, hot rod, classic metal works. This is a Pontiac GTO here, and the rest of the stuff, nothing special here. Card for you. You really like that bag, didn't you? Huh? You really like that bag. He's standing here with, with, with the saw. <laughs> You're holding a purse. And I'm like, Vicky finally got something for you. So I want to show you guys because 90% of the time that I show things here, it's always guys yeah. reaching out. I want to buy this. I want to buy that. I want to buy that. Hardly ever I have anything for the ladies. So I just picked up really nice uh, Michael Kors bag and this blue like 
what kind of blue would you call this? Ocean blue. Ocean blue. <laughs> I don't know, but it's pretty. Super clean. It's used, but it's super clean. Barely used. Uh, if any of you ladies are interested out there, I'll make you a deal. I'm asking $65. I can probably do $65, including shipping on that. Let me see. Probably. You know? And it comes. Yeah, this is a lot. Nice. This is a lock here. <laughs> Look oh, at this huge lock. Wow. And this is a key that comes okay. for oh, it. Oh, that's here. neat. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. So. What's up, baby? Oh, it looks so cute on you. Uh, oh, hold mine. <laughs> that's how crazy it is. I know. You know what I, I mean? Know. So. So I was able to test the, the PS2, uh, this unit, although the controller is bad on it, one of these is broken. Mm -hmm. The Xbox, this one, I don't have cables for it to test, okay. <clears throat> so I can buy it from you like for parts. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't, we'll sell it for parts. Sure. This is a really nice collection of these games. These have manuals, um, these three don't, and this one we don't have that game, it's an extra manual. Uh, Space Invader. Oh, I don't remember having that. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe just an extra, yeah. you know. On these here I can offer you like 50 bucks. Yeah, Basically sure. five dollars a system. Usually I get about 10 to 15 dollars out of them depending on a, on yeah. a system. Um, and for those two systems, another 20 bucks. Like $10 for this one, and then untested, uh, 360, 10 bucks. So you got $70. That's fine. You want to do that? Let's do that. Okay. I'll need your idea. I'll write you up. So this is a wonderful collection of these vintage electronic games. There's a total of 10 games here. Seven of them have manuals, and then we have an extra manual for this Space Invader, which is not here. That game is not here. Uh, most of them are made in Hong Kong. So like that 1977, 1978 era. Yeah, this is 1978. This Football 2, 78 as well. This one is missing the back. Hong Kong. This is Hong Kong. This is Japan right here, the chase. The armor battle, that's Japan as well. 
This one doesn't have a manual. This is a Japanese game too. This is a Golf. Hong Kong. Oh, this one is made in Korea, 1977. And this is Hong Kong too. So, fantastic collection. I mean, these individually, they'll, they're all over the place as far as money-wise. You know, $10, 15 20 Now, I do have manuals for most of them so they could bring a little bit more with the manuals because 90 percent of the time you don't find them with the manuals but i think it would be a good idea maybe to lot these up and sell them as a one big collection so if any of you guys are interested hit me up but yeah this is really really cool this is the only one i'm gonna clean them up a little bit they're a little dusty this is the only one that it's missing the cover for the battery love it I want to show you guys this monster over here that I picked up a couple days ago. Probably 1800s, late 1800s. Fully functional. Here's a crank on this side. Look at that. And the wooden cylinders on it are still completely intact. A lot of times they have cracks through them you know they're they're completely destroyed these are in excellent condition this is all fully functional and the press goes up and down how much pressure you want to put on these blades here uh, phenomenal piece now something like this uh, a hard sell very hard sell uh, you're really waiting and waiting for that right buyer i put 250 dollars on it um, last one I had here was tiny bit smaller um, and it was a more wooden construction than cast iron like this one and it took two years to sell so who knows how long it's gonna take for this one to go but it's still a very cool piece very cool piece look at that look at all that artist work on it pretty incredible you know back in the day they really paid attention to detail even though that this was you know just a normal piece of equipment that would be used on daily basis still everything had to be so decorative love it so ruby is put away she's eating her food come on hon it's time got some food for you some treats Come on. Come on. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Ready for some treats? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on. Here's a few. Enjoy them. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Dead bears.